Hello, welcome to a special Q&A recording of Under the Open Sky, one of the 50 official selection titles at the 45th Toronto International Film Festival. Um, the film plays as part of Contemporary World Cinema, which is generously sponsored by Sun Life. As part of Share Air Journey, uh, TIFF's commitment to supporting women behind and in front of the camera, we are thrilled to spotlight the incredible films by women at this year's festival, including Nishikawa Miwa and Under the Open Sky. Uh, my name is Giovanna Fulvi, um, and I'm an international programmer responsible for Southeast and East Asian cinema. I'm thrilled uh, to be here with Nishikawa Miwa, the director of the film, and uh, Mr. Yaku Shokoji, the lead actor. Um, thank you to our audience for joining us as an organization still impacted by COVID. We need the support of our audiences so that we can continue to present films to future generations and to preserve these diverse and important voices. Um, this film is eligible for the People's Choice Award, so if you like this film, please do not forget to vote. And you can do so at tiff.net slash vote. And now let's start the conversation with the director of the film, Nishikawa Miwa. Um, you have been writing original stories um, for your feature film, which also earned literary prizes, like in the case of The Long Excuse, uh, which was presented at TIFF in 2016. Under the Open Sky is your first feature based on a novel written by someone else. What attracted you? you to this story about an ex-Yakuza trying to fit into society and how faithful is your adaptation to the novel of Saki Ryuzo's uh, Mi Buncho, which translates in my files. え、西川を え、ちょうど2015年に前作の長い分けという作品を撮影してたんですけれども、その撮影の最中にですね、この身分帳の作者である崎龍蔵さんがお亡くなりになったというニュースを私も新聞で知りました。during uh, the filming of The Long Excuse in 2015, uh, it was in 2015 that uh, I learned through the newspaper uh, that in the news that Ryuzo Saki uh, passed away. Saki Ryuzo san wa fukushu suru wa ware ni ari toyu sakuhin de totemo yume na kata nan desu kere do mo naka yoku sare teita betsu no sakka san wa desu ne. さき、さきさんの新骨頂は復讐するは我にありよりも身分帳という作品なんじゃないかっていうことを新聞に書いておられたんですね。で、それを読んだ時に私も復讐するは我にありのファンだったので、あ、身分帳という作品知らないなと思
物語なのかなと思ってたんですけれどもそこに書かれていたのはそういうあの悲惨な残酷な殺人犯の犯罪への成り立ちではなくてその事件を犯して刑務所に服役していた男が何でもない日常を取り戻すためにコツコツコツコツひたすらいろんなことにトライしては失敗するというだけのとっても地味な話だったんですね。And、uh, before I started reading it, I was imagining that it would be about this very sort of bloody murderer and、uh, about what the, the crime that he committed, but it turned out that it was not at all、uh, that kind of a, a novel. It was、uh, about this、uh, ex convict who was liberated from jail, and he's trying really, really hard, very, very hard every day to、uh, get back a daily life、uh, for himself. And that was a very, very、uh, sort of、um, uh, uh, that, that kind of、uh, normal sort of、uh, novel. So, <laughs> 私も犯罪者がですね、刑務所を出た後どんな暮らしをするのかっていうことに今までほとんど自分自身が関心を寄せてきたことがなくって、初めてそういう物語に触れたので、あ、これは自分がオリジナルで探して見つけられるテーマとは違うなぁと思って、非常に興味を持ちまして、誰も書いていない角度から犯罪者のその後っていうのを映画で作ってみたいなと思ったのが、So, this could be really、uh, the reason I, I was really attracted to this、uh, story. And this is something that probably I wouldn't have been able to come up with myself,、uh, namely about a, how a criminal who is liberated from jail and, and、uh, what happens to his life after、uh, being discharged from、uh, prison. And so, I really wanted to,、uh, I was really interested in this story. えっと、原作にはどれぐらい忠実かというところですけども、当然あの小説なので、大丈夫かな<笑>あの、お客さんだけど大丈夫かな<笑>、えっと、小説にはですね、ものすごいいろんなバリエーションのエピソードが詰め,詰め込まれていて、それをね、2時間の映画にどうやって集約しようかなというのがとてもあの、私にとっては、オリジナルで映画を描いてきた私にとっては、とても手こずった部分でしたがあの、長い時間をかけて、2年か3年か、シナリオにかけながら、あの取捨選択して、シナリオを作ってきました。So,、uh, to the question about how faithful it is to the original novel,、uh, the, the novel itself has so many、uh, variations of different episodes in it, and it's very, very difficult, very challenging for me uh, to uh, make it into a two hour feature film. And so, it was very challenging for me, who had been always working from an original、uh, script that I wrote myself. So, it took me really two or three years to、uh, come up、uh, with. The picking and choosing of what part of the novel I wanted to incorporate in my、uh, film. Yeah, and uh,、um, uh, Mr. Yakusho's performance is simply breathtaking.、Uh, he is so perfect for the part. How did you cast him for the role of Mikami?、Uh, did you already have him in mind at script writing stage? And what was it like to be working with him? えー、そしてあの役所広司さんの演技にはまあただただ私はあの息を飲むばかりという感じだったんですけれどもあまりにもこの役にぴったりはまってらっしゃるという気がしますであの役所さんをこの三上という役にキャスティングするに至った経緯だとかあのまあ脚本をお書きになっている段階ですでに役所さんをまあ三上として想定されていたのかについてぜひお聞きしたいのとあとその役者さん役所さんとあのお仕事をされてのご感想を聞かせください、えー、私はですね17歳の時にテレビで見た役所さんが演じられた殺人犯のドラマに痛くショックを受けてなんとか自分もうんこの後の人生でですね人間という得体の知れないものをこう描いてい,けいく仕事につけないかなと思った
記憶があるんですね。そこから、まあ、ひょんなとこから、あの、映画の監督をやることになったんですが、まあ、いつか役所広司さんを主役に置いて映画を撮れないかなということは考えてまいりました。So I was really、uh, only 17 years old when I first saw Mr. Yakusho playing the role of a murderer on TV, and I really was shocked and very, very much impressed. And so、uh, I was wondering at that age already、uh, whether I wouldn't be able to get into a profession where I could be、um, depicting somebody、uh, that. You really wonder what kind of a, a person that is, and if I could、uh, cast somebody like Mr. Yakusho in that role. And、uh, it turns out that I became a film director, and I really wanted to make a film with him as the lead、uh, character. えっと、原作を読んで1年ぐらいは取材をしながら、どういうキャラクターにしていくかっていうことをずっと考えてたんですけれども、じゃあこれからいざ。あのスクリプトとして書いていくぞという時にいやこれは本当に面白い役なのでついに、まあ、憧れの役所広司さんにオファーを入れてみるべき時じゃないかと、まあ、一年発起して、えー、お願いをしたところあの考えてもいいよというようなお返事をいただいたのでそこからはまだ決まってはいませんでしたが、うん、役所さんが演じてくれるんだからというすごいこうそれが自信になって脚本を書き進められていった記憶があります。So it took me about a year of research、uh, after I had、uh, read the novel, and I was starting to,、uh, to think about the script. And the more, the more I thought about it, this, this was a really great, great role. And so I thought maybe I'll take、uh, courage in my two hands and ask、uh, my favorite actor, Mr. Yakusho,、uh, if he would consider、uh, playing this role. And he told me. That he would think about it. And so I was really, really,、uh, that got, get, got me a big boost of confidence to tackle this script. And then from then on, I really thought about it、uh, as him playing this role. Yeah. And then now a question for uh, Mr. <clears throat> uh, Yakusho Koji.、Um, Mr. Yakusho, your interpretation of the character of Mikami. It's simply wonderful, it's splendid, it, it's rich in nuances and personality, it is touching yet very charismatic. How did you prepare for this role? えー、次はあのこの役所さんにあのお聞きするんですけれども、役所さんあの、三上の役における演技はもう見事としかあの言いようがないんですけれども、あのようにその細かいニュアンスだとか、その個性にあふれていて、で、感動的、で、カリスマティック。な演技にたどり着くためにはどのような準備をなさったのかあまあ何かあればお聞かせいただけますでしょうかはい<笑>まあまずはその原案になっている小説の身分帳と、えー、石川監督が書いたその素晴らしい世界の脚本をこう比べて読みながら何かこうつじつまが合うところは合わせてそれで原作まあ小説ですから膨大な等書きがあるわけですからその分はなんとなく監督の脚本と、えー、照らし合わせながらその三上という男をこう探し求めてましたもし結局そのクランクインまでにこの男はどういう男かなかなかつかめなくてそしてこの男に観客はどこに共感するのか、えー、なかなか見つけられなかったんですけれども、まあ、クランクインして、えーあそこまで行きますか<笑>ごめんなさい。はい。First of all,、um, 
I did read the original novel, The Inmate Files, and also uh, the script that uh, the director, Miwa Nishikawa, had written. And I was trying to find out what the common points were and what coincided uh, with each other. And I was trying from there on to find out who this Mikami, uh, what kind of a guy that was. And I was really uh, had a lot of difficulty finding who this this uh, person was and so i hadn't uh, gotten to that point even before sh starting the the filming and also i was trying to find out uh, to what sort of uh, point would the audience, uh, who, the people who saw this film, would react to, or what would resonate with the audience? And so, until uh, the uh, we started filming, uh, I wasn't really at that point yet. その<笑> いい、えー、経験でした so um once we started filming the 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 film shoot um with the direction of uh, Miwa Nishikawa I was able to sort of use one scene at a time one scene became the basis for the next uh, in order to try and find out really uh, and approach little but little uh, what this Mikami character was about. Uh, so one scene became the hint or a clue, gave me a clue to the next, uh, shall we say. And another thing I can say is that I really practiced very hard using the sewing machine. And uh, also um, director Nishikawa took me to the Asahikawa prison. And that was a really uh, eye-opening experience for me to actually get to the, to the prison and see for myself uh, what the place was about. Um, thank you for uh, being here with us today. Thank you, Nishikawa Miwa. Thank you, Yakusho Koji. Thank you. Thank you.